Hello, my name is Will Venus. Welcome to my autistic YouTube channel where we talk about all things autism. Of course. Today I'm going to share with you 10 things you should never say to an autistic person. First of all, make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell so you get a gentle nudge from YouTube every time I upload. Let's begin. Number one, I'd like to preface this video by saying that if someone tells you that they're autistic and you don't know what to say, say just that and wait for their response. Silence really does speak offensive volume. Next one, autism. So that means you're just a bit naive. No, not all AS people are naive. Anyone can be naive, autistic or non-autistic. But what is true is that autistic people look for the best in people in general. Number three, oh, okay, so that means you're a bit slow really so whilst we all have different approaches to life and all that that entails we are not slow or as some really offensive people say backwards yes we all have varying degrees of intelligence as all human beings do but what is intelligence measured on predominantly young white boys yeah i know who would ever have thought that there was more diversity than that extremely restricted demographic what does intelligence mean anyway we are all intelligent in our own ways. Intelligence goes way farther than academia, in my opinion anyway. Yes, there are autistic people that really progress in their academia, you know, to the highest level, as do neurotypicals. If you're watching this video and you came to my channel for the first time, neurotypical means non-autistic, neurodiverse means autistic. Number four, we're all a bit autistic. No, we're not. Don't say that. It's literally a different brain type. We have an increased number of connectors in our brain. We have a different sized hippocampus, different sized amygdala. If you want to know what those are, comment below and I'll do a video about it. Yeah, I could elaborate so much more on that. So do let me know if you're interested. How Next one. How can you be autistic? You can talk. Again, we're all different. And yes, there are some people on the spectrum who are non-verbal. I'm really sorry that your idea of autism doesn't quite match the actual reality. That's why it's called autism spectrum for a reason. There is no two autistic people that are the same. We're, we're all unique. We don't all fit a stereotype. Number six, how does it feel to be autistic? Too abstract a question. I could say, mm, what does it feel like to be neurotypical? It's a bit like asking anyone what it feels like to be human. Number seven. Ha! This is for the late diagnosed autistic. I've known you all your life. You're not autistic. You're just faking this for attention. Okay, so now you're gatekeeping. Great. I know my truth. I don't need to justify myself to you. And also, don't you think that if I were to invent an illness or disability or disadvantage that I would choose something a bit more exotic? Something that would garner a bit more attention. Next one, number eight. Oh, I know such and such a person. I, they have autism. I know how they suffer. Autism is not a burden and it, it's also not a wasting disease. Number nine. Now, this is the one that really gets on my... Keep it clean, Will. Nerves. Autistic people have little or no empathy. That is absolutely incorrect. <sighs> we do. We have buckets of it. If anything, we have way too much empathy. So much so that at times it can leave us absolutely exhausted because we're constantly thinking about how the other person feels. We worry so much sometimes that it leaves very little empathy for oneself. And we may not always be able to show our empathy in a neurotypical way or a way that a neurotypical might need that feedback but we absolutely do feel it i mean the feedback doesn't always display itself but it is there and also aut autistic people they're some of the most empathic people you could ever meet i promise you number 10 i think it's number 10 if i've miscounted sorry sound off in the comments all you like number 10 you could be a bit less you know couldn't you change yourself to make your you know look a bit more normal you know to fit in because we're feeling a bit uncomfortable i beg your pardon say that again firstly who the hell wants to be normal why the hell should we stop doing things that brings us autonomy and comfort I tell you what neurotypical ableist why don't you just um 
I don't know, stop breathing, that would be a bit easier. I'd say that's a fair compromise. I'm only kidding, of course, keep breathing. It's quite essential to the human life. But why should we change who we are just to make you feel comfortable? If for whatever reason that you are embarrassed, tough, we are who we are. We are absolutely fine as we are. Your lack of acceptance is your problem and the world around you. Go get yourself educated. Bonus time. Lastly, as I said at the start of this video, arguably the one that hurts the most is to not say anything at all to an autistic person. No acknowledgement. When someone has shared a piece of information with you and you ignore or ghost them, it hurts deeply. I mean, this, if, if you're not acknowledging an autistic person and what they're telling you, this can lead to spiraling, spiraling tongue <laughs> tongue twister, spiralling for them. And then after that, they'll be asking themselves a hundred different questions as to why they had that reaction from that other person. I know, I've been there. If you're unsure what to say, say just that. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Talk to me. Well, I hope you've found that short video a little bit insightful and useful. If you have, please hit the like button, that would be massively appreciated. And of course, click that red subscribe button, which is down at the right hand side of the screen. The big red button. Also comment below if you've had any experiences relating to what I've discussed. I would really, really be interested to read them. And if you do comment, I might just read them in next week's video. So I'm going to need all those comments, please. And of course, you can leave your suggestions in the comments as to what kind of videos you would like to see here on this channel in the future, because I'm more than willing to take on feedback and suggestions. So until next week, take good care of yourselves. Keep shining and I'll see you then. Subscribe.